Welcome back to Hot Stove with South Bend Cubs. Happy holidays. Uh, today we're going to do a couple dishes that focus around the holidays. Really, honestly, just eggnog. So we're going to do eggnog in a couple different ways. The first thing we're going to start off with is an eggnog panna cotta. It's topped with a cranberry compote. We'll finish it off with some blood orange, some fresh cinnamon, some rosemary. Just a great uh, presentation factor for, for any holiday gathering. So. Very, very simple recipe. What we're gonna start off with, there's some cranberries. You can use fresh or frozen for this. It really uh, is, is good either way. We're gonna go right into a small pot there. Put a little bit more back. Make sure and save some back for your garnish when you're all said and done. And we'll add a little bit of water to that. And about a half a cup worth of orange juice. Then to just kind of amp up the flavor on the orange, we're gonna add a little bit of orange zest, about a half would be just fine. Again, all recipes will be available. So we'll get that in there, and then that's gonna go on to flame, about medium flame, um, for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. You're really gonna to wanna to start seeing those cranberries break down. Don't be afraid to take a, a rubber spatula and kind of mash them up a little bit and get all the flavor incorporated into that. So while that's going, we're also gonna take uh, some uh, gelatin packs here, just some powdered gelatin. Take four tablespoons of water. We're gonna take two packs of the gelatin here and just allow that to bloom in there. Don't worry about mixing it up. Don't worry about doing anything like that. Just let that set, it will absorb into the water. All right, so we have our quart of eggnog in our, our sauce pot. You're gonna put that again over medium high flame, and uh, you're gonna take that up to about 180, 190 degrees. You don't want it to boil, it'll start to break down. But at that point, once it hits that temperature, you're gonna add in your bloom gelatin into that. Just whisk it in, nice and neat. You don't need to go crazy with it. Just make sure it's all incorporated in, and then remove that from the heat. So we've taken our, uh, our warmed uh, eggnog that's had the gelatin added into it and put it into uh, really whatever serving glass you'd like. So um, we're just using these little trifle glasses here. Then they go place them into a refrigerator for two to three hours until they start to settle up. You can always kind of check them once you start seeing any kind of jiggle go out of it, you're good to go. So really all we're doing is just making a custard. Um, at this point, we're gonna take our nice cranberry compote that we've made here. And it's just gonna go right on top. And these can definitely be made a day ahead of time. Just don't add the, uh, the cranberry compote until a little bit before you're ready to, to serve. A little bit more there, finish that up. Great. We're gonna take some fresh cinnamon. On the top of each. Perfect. Cranberries. Then there's a nice garnish. You can always hit the plate up with a little bit of rosemary. And then, always good to garnish it with what you use in it. We actually use some blood orange juice in this. So we're just gonna add that to it. There we go, eggnog panna cotta. Top with a cranberry compote. Good to go for holidays. next eggnog treat we're gonna make Clark's Christmas eggnog so what we have going on here is we've uh, whipped a quart of um, heavy cream no sugar just straight heavy cream we've uh, whipped it till about soft peak just to where it starts to hold but it's not super rigid we don't want to over whip it gonna add that in get all that in there and then we'll add in nine egg yolks that were whipped with eight ounces of white sugar. Throw that in. Then we're gonna add in nine egg whites that was whipped with eight ounces of white sugar. We're slowly just gonna kind of fold those together. Just lift from the bottom to the top, just to start to incorporate all the ingredients there. We're gonna add in a quart of milk. We're gonna 
add in a quart of just a store-bought eggnog. Add in about a cup and a half of dark rum. This is where things start fun. Start getting fun. And our last liquid, we're gonna add in a, 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 a quart of uh, a good whiskey. This eggnog is definitely not for the weak at heart and definitely not for kids. Uh, best way to finish this out, it really needs to sit for about a week before you're ready to sell it. But the thing that really happens that's great with it is all the, um, the nice whips with cream, with egg yolks, egg whites, just make it really nice, light, and frothy. We're gonna add in to finish it off, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and a teaspoon and a half of ground nutmeg. Just gonna kind of make sure that's all incorporated nice and well. And make sure and put it into a good sealable container and place it into your refrigerator, like I say, for at least a week or so. You can go a little bit longer than that, that's great. But great holiday gift, bottle it up, give it to your friends, give it to your family, um, serve it at any party you might have. Yeah, this is, a, this is a great drink for anyone that's of age. Now as it sits and really uh, comes together, you're gonna actually start to see some of that frothiness built to the top. Don't be afraid, that's absolutely natural, that's great. It gives it a nice airy top to it and uh, all the uh, all the heavier stuff is starting to settle towards the bottom. But there we go, Clark's Christmas egg milk. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hot Stove with South Bend Cubs. Recipes are below the video. Have a happy and safe holidays. See you next year.